Hi, I'm Gary M0TIG here at Martin Lynch & Sons and today I thought that we would look at the ELAD FDM Duo uh, transceiver. This is probably one of the most overlooked little SDR transceivers that we, uh, we have um, and it is probably one of the best performing. Um, the software is really, really good. I'll have a quick look at the software in just a second. Um, it's quite powerful, but the nice thing with this little radio is that it gives you one, it gives you a whole host of uh, features on the back of the, the radio, which I'll quickly go through. Um, you have, um, an R, you have a, um, a receive and TX antenna port, an RX only antenna port. You've got two um, SMA ports on the back here. One of them is actually an RF out port and the other one is, um, is an, a reference in, so you can put like a, a reference signal in there. Um, it's also got a PTT out as well, so if you're using a little amplifier or something like that, that that's a good way of keying it. Um, you've got a key um, a port on the back, so for a CW key, that sort of thing. But you've got three USB ports on the back here also. You've got an RX USB port, and this is the main uh, port which basically communicates with the software. You've got a TX port which completes that sort of lineup, which is basically the sound card. And you've also got a cat port here as well, which actually gives you the rig control. Um, it does need um, 12 volts uh, power, but it's very, very low uh, current draw as well on receive. I think it's about half an amp if that. Um, and I think it's about two amps uh, max on, on transmit. This is a five watt um, uh, transceiver. Um, so it's QRP, and I have actually used one of these in, in anger, and I really love it. It's such such a good little thing. Um, you've also got um, an, ex, uh, an external I.O. port, which is not a serial port. It's important to note. That's actually just for things like um, maybe controlling amplifiers and that sort of thing. And in fact, ELAD do an amplifier to go with these. I think uh, it's 120 20 watts, I think. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much sums at the back. And you've also the on-off switch is actually at the back. The panel around the front is um, pretty straightforward. VFO, um, and you've got two control knobs here. One, I think these are multi-function in most cases, and you can press them and, and change the sort of functions, as is the VFO. If you press that, you can change the steps and, and that sort of stuff. But it's very, very menu-driven. Very small screen, uh, however, with this sort of radio, that's sort of secondary um, to the actual thing. I'll show you again the, the software in a second, but you can pick this up and take this out portable if you want to, just as it is, or you can make it a much, much better sort of shack option. You can connect it to the, to the software. Um, you've got lots and lots of function buttons along the bottom here, which so you can control the sort of basic functions of the radio. And I believe you can assign one or two of sort of uh, your own sort of functions as well to these. Um, but again, it's just mainly menu driven. So let's quickly hop over now to the, to the software and I'll quickly uh, show you through the, the software. Um, okay, so the first thing I think probably to point out is where you can download the software from. And you get it uh, essentially from the ELAD it.com uh, download um, and uh, we'll put that uh, address uh, probably in the uh, description and um, where you can download the software and there are a couple of little options here and you what you're looking for is basically the latest version of the S FDM SW2 um, files um, I normally use the complete zip and um, once you've you've downloaded that you can install it absolutely fine if you need any sort of ongoing sort of help while you're doing this, I would um, really, really recommend that you join in with the community. There's a really, really good, vibrant um, user group, um, which ELAD run, um, and pretty much everyone there has had some experience of whatever issue you're likely to run into. It's a good place to, to pick up some tips and uh, useful information. And again, you can find that um, from a link on, on the ELADS website, or again, we'll, we'll put this link in the, in the description. Now, the, once you've actually got the software installed and running, okay, you, you, when you fire it up, it will find the radio and this, this will basically uh, pop up. Um, you can see here we've got, um, I think it's on, what's it, 40 metres, and that is fairly busy sort of band, so let's, uh, let's get some sound. Um, to tune the radio, 
you can use these little sliders and all I'm doing is I'm with the left uh, mouse button I'm just holding it down and I'm moving these little sliders along you can also use the mouse wheel if I remember rightly um, on some of the bands so there you go you can use the mouse wheel as well and you can change the steps as well um, as well so up here you can change up here I'm using the left mouse button and the right mouse button just to change the steps so just up here you can sort of see there you can change that so let's put that down to something small um, we'll go. right there you go um, and then as I say I'm just using the mouse wheel there or you can just grip for like a fine fine tune or a much faster tune the next one down or an even faster one the next one down and one really nice thing that you can do with this let me just shut that off for a second um, one really nice thing you can do with this is you can see here I've actually got lots and lots of memories and stuff um, just sort of uh, showing there if we go to the set um, memory here we can go over to station memory and that you can actually download a, a file which I've got from where did I get it from let me just uh, close this just for a second I got it from these people so um, here this is an, an EIB um, file um, and all I've done is I've downloaded the latest CSV database although I did have a bit of a, a, an issue with this one it didn't it didn't read it correctly but what I did um, as I went to the archive and I found a slightly earlier one from from the archive I think that one's 22 and I think I used 21 so and I'm looking for a CSV so I used yeah I used the this latest one or this uh, the latest one on there um, or uh, whichever but anyway it worked so again you can once you've done that you can just go to this set menu and if you go to the station memory you can browse for this this file and you can see here um, it was that one that worked really well and I can just say open and then say apply and what it's done is it's populated all the memories for us or some of the memories at least and now you've got all these like uh, little labels above where you where you sort of going it's quite interesting to see all the different uh, stations and stuff dotted around so let's close that back down um so yeah that that's quite nice the other thing that this will do also you can actually record the if there's something interesting on you can actually record it and play stuff back um you can actually also see the recordings um, if I remember rightly, if you click on um, the, these buttons along the top here, you can actually then, you know, save those files at, or, or share them, whatever you like, um, you know, with uh, with colleagues or whatever. Um, so, yeah, it's really, really neat little bit of software. There are four um, slices uh, built into this and this they're selectable from the, the, the little tabs along the top here. Um, so you've got a red, yellow, green and a blue one and they all correspond with the volume and other little controls on the top here. So we'll go back to um, RX1 and what I'll do is I'll whiz that over to a station that we can hear. Um, that'll do. So okay, so once you've found a station here, you can actually then use things like noise reduction and that makes a that makes a huge difference. So you've also got things like um, um, you've got things like notch filters and all that sort of good stuff. So you can you've got quite a lot of control over what's uh, what's going on. Um, changing the band is really really easy. Um, if we get rid of this, um, so here you can actually see that we can flick through the different bands. Um, just at the touch of a button um, as I say that the, the the each of the slices is really easily and uh, accessible on the top you can change the different modes along here to the whatever mode you wish and um, you can change the bandwidth and stuff for the filter and obviously the AGC speed all again from this sort of software you can change whether or not this snaps so each of the, as you sort of go through the frequency, you can change whether it's, it sort of snaps to, to a frequency, which I believe you set in this. 
um, which is really really cool. Um, you can um, you can absolute lock the um, display, or you can lock to the centre. The other little thing as well is that's quite interesting are the little windows that sort of pop up. So you've got your IF and AF out of here. It's got a lovely little equaliser built in here which you can sort of set, turn off and change as, as you wish. Um, let's get rid of those. And what else can we got on it? There's a little question mark up the top here which is a really, really useful um, little button because what it does is it gives you a whole host of the, the shortcuts that are available just to, to run the software. So if that floats your boat, you can actually mark your keyboard up as you see fit um, and uh, yeah, help you along. Um, so yeah, all I'm saying is it's a really, really good piece of software. It's, it's, it's an awful lot to learn. Um, the manual is available online if you want to have a quick flick through it, um, but it is quite a, a big read. Um, it's it's fantastic, really, really versatile piece of software. You can change the waterfall um, as you, you want on, on here. I, I kind of prefer mine to be a little darker um, because I can sort of see the some of the weaker sort of signals, uh, you know, against the sort of like the hash. Um, you can you can change, you know, the sort of the colouring so that it sort of changes whether or not the strong signals uh, bright red or white or whatever so again you've got quite a lot of uh, adjustment there um, to zoom in and out um, you've got the the two magnifying glasses at the top here um, so you can zoom in and out of the of the screen so you can change the actual span again this is such a, a, a vast piece of software there's quite a lot to to pick up but very very quick overview but i think probably we'll stick a fork in it there um if you need to know anything about this please um do let us know okay so the elad fdm duo is available from stock um, we have the um, very popular uh, silver ones um, in stock we have uh, black ones and I believe there is also red available. Um, but as I say, this is such a nice, nice little um, transceiver. Absolutely lovely. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. And uh, if you need anything, do give us a call in the store on 0345 2300 or on our website, hamradio.co.uk. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.